Welcome back to the Crypto World channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and in this video, Bitcoin has officially met my first price target that I set in my last video. In my last video that I just uploaded yesterday on the channel, I said that my first Bitcoin price target to the upside is coming in at around 49,500 US dollars. And as you can see, Bitcoin came up perfectly to 49,500 just here. And then on this second attempt, we got a quick wick up and then came straight back down, as you can see just here. And so in in just a moment, I'll tell you where we should be expecting support to come in for Bitcoin. And I'll be letting you know my next Bitcoin price targets in the immediate short term. So make sure you're sticking around for that. Bitcoin in the really short term is potentially starting to form a bearish pattern that we have to look out for. But more in the medium term, we are starting to form a massive bullish pattern that should begin to play out over the next few weeks. So once again, make sure you're watching this whole video to find out exactly what this is. And in the second half of this video, as always, I will include my Ethereum analysis to give you my exact Ethereum price targets. And towards the very end of this video, I will add in a couple altcoins such as Cardano and Chainlink. So obviously, if you're interested in that as well, make sure you're sticking around for this entire video. But yeah, if all of that sounds good to you, then please make sure to just leave a like on the video down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications on. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, you might as well just go down and click subscribe. It's free and it's going to give you a lot of valuable information in future videos like this one. But yeah, anyway, with all of that out of the way, let's get straight into what this video is about. So right here, we're on the Bitcoin US dollar chart on the one hour chart. And now I recorded my previous video at around here when Bitcoin was sitting roughly around 46, maybe 47,000. And I said in my last video that my immediate price target to the upside is coming in at around 49.4K is exactly what I said, I'm pretty sure. So pretty much 49 and a half thousand US dollars was where I said Bitcoin Bitcoin will be heading next. And obviously that's exactly what's happened. We did head a couple hundred dollars higher in just this quick wick to the upside. As you can see here, we got slightly above 50K and then came straight back down. So once again, there is still some big resistance coming in at this price level that I already said in my last video. And if you don't know how I actually got that price level on the chart, if I zoom out, as you can see here, and if I pull out the Fibonacci retracement tool from the all time high up at around 58,000 down to this low that we had at around 40, 3,000. I don't know if you can see just to the left there, but this level is the 38.2% Fibonacci level. And this exact Fibonacci level is coming in at around 49,500. And so that's why I was expecting resistance to come in at this exact level before we even got there. And these two other lines to the upside are the next two Fibonacci levels that are still above the current price. So once again, my immediate resistance that I'm targeting to the upside is still this Fibonacci level just here coming in at around 49,500. And that Fibonacci level is kind of paired with the $50,000 level as well, because 50,000 is a massive psychological resistance. So in around that little price range, just there from 49 and a half to 50 K, that's going to be some resistance, as I said. But yeah, once we break above the $50,000 level with big volume coming in, once again, we need a big spike of volume that exceeds the previous volume levels to confirm that a breakout is real. And also this doesn't have to happen, but I also look for a retest for support to continue higher. If Bitcoin breaks above a resistance level, comes back down to retest it as support and gets a bounce from that previous resistance level now flipped as support. That's also another way that you can use to confirm that a breakout is real because you don't want to be caught in a scenario like this where Bitcoin just quickly wicks up and then comes straight back down. As you can see, when Bitcoin did that just here, we didn't see any significant volume come in. And yeah, when Bitcoin came back down for the retest it immediately failed and dropped back below below that resistance level. So right there, we got no confirmations of a breakout, none of the two confirmations that I look for. So that's why I find it important to mention that in every video when I'm talking about breakouts. But yeah, anyway, getting back on track, if we get above that resistance level coming in at around 49 and a half to 50K US dollars, the next massive level of resistance for Bitcoin is this level just here. And that is the 51,000 US dollar level approximately. Now, the reason why the 51,000 US dollar level is massive resistance for Bitcoin. And well, first of all, if I zoom out, as you can see just here, I don't know if you can see this, but this is the 50% Fibonacci level on the chart coming in once again at around 51,000 US dollars. But not only is this just a Fibonacci level on the chart, as you can see here, we got some massive resistance at this exact level at these previous highs that we saw around a week ago from now. And zooming back even further out, kind of mid-February, we got some massive support at this 51K level as well. 
well. So this $51,000 level is a significant level for Bitcoin. And really the final level of resistance to the upside before we shoot up towards the all time high is this red line that I've got on the chart just here. As you can see, this level is coming in at exactly 53,000 US dollars. Now this level is extremely significant for Bitcoin because of the fact that this is the 61.8% Fibonacci level. And if you don't already know, the 61.8% Fibonacci level is probably the most important Fibonacci level on this entire Fibonacci tool. The 61.8% Fibonacci level kind of acts as like a magnet for the Bitcoin price. That's at least how I would explain the significance of this Fibonacci level. So yeah, if I just delete the Fibonacci retracement tool on the chart, I still got these three lines of resistance, obviously just here. And so yeah, once we finally break above 53,000, then I'll pretty much immediately be targeting around the $58,000 level. And that's because that's where the current all time high sits at for Bitcoin. And so obviously we will see a bit of resistance at around the all time high. But in terms of just rough timeframes on where I would expect Bitcoin to get back towards its all time high, I would expect Bitcoin to get back towards around 58K before the end of this month, before the end of March. So that's still four weeks away, which gives plenty of time for Bitcoin to recover out of this correction. But yeah, anyway, I know that you all just love hearing bullish news about Bitcoin. But when I see something bearish come up on the charts, I have to let you guys know because I'm just fully transparent with you guys. But yeah, anyway, just on the one hour chart, there has been a small bearish divergence form on the chart. As you can see here in the price, we've got a high and a higher high, but in the RSI, we got a high and a lower high. So this is obviously known as a bearish divergence. And what this basically means is just in the short term, Bitcoin's going to stop heading to the upside and we're either going to be heading basically sideways or slightly to the downside. And this is already pretty much played out. And considering the fact that this is only really on the one hour chart, I would not be expecting like a crash in the Bitcoin price from this whatsoever. Because if you don't already know, the smaller the time frame you're looking at, the less significant the pattern is. If we get just a bearish divergence like this on the one hour chart, then honestly, this is most likely all the downside that we would see. For the last six hours or so, we have been coming down just a little bit and that's basically the bearish divergence playing out. Now, another really small bearish pattern that is currently forming on the chart is this really small head and shoulders pattern. Once again, this is only on the one hour chart, so it isn't super significant or anything like that. And this pattern isn't even completed yet. I'm just letting you know well in advance in case this right shoulder shoulder does end up completing. So as you can see here, we got this left shoulder just here. We got the head and now we're currently getting a bounce to form the right shoulder. So if Bitcoin kind of turns around in the immediate short term, like I'm talking within the next couple hours, if we turn around somewhere there and come back down towards this neckline sitting at around 48,400, then that would complete this head and shoulders pattern, which is a bearish pattern. And if the right shoulder were to complete like that, and if we were to break Break down to the downside. And once again, you have to be paying attention to the volume as always. But just measuring out my price target for this pattern, if it does end up completing, we could potentially be coming back down towards around 46,400 US dollars. That's the technical price target for this head and shoulders pattern. And that $46,500 level also comes in confluence with this little price range that we saw just back here. But once again, this pattern is in no way confirmed yet. It's just something to keep an eye on while it continues to form. All right now, I just zoomed out to the the two hour chart, as you can see here. And speaking of head and shoulders, we're actually forming an inverse head and shoulders in the midterm, as you can see here. We've been forming this for around four and a half days now. And as you can see, we got the left shoulder just here. We got the head. And right now we're potentially forming the right shoulder to confirm this inverse head and shoulders pattern. And once again, it's important to mention that this pattern is not confirmed yet. It's still forming. It's just something to keep an eye on for you guys. And obviously I just want to let you know everything that I'm seeing on the charts. In fact, if that really small head and shoulders actually played out and came down a little bit, and then if we got a bounce somewhere at around 46 to 47K and came back up towards this neckline at around 50,500 approximately, then yeah, that sort of scenario would complete the final shoulder for this inverse head and shoulders pattern. And once again, an inverse head and shoulders pattern is a bullish pattern and the exact target for this pattern, if we were to break to the upside, would be coming in at this exact price level just up here and this is coming in at approximately 56,000 US dollars. All right, now here we are on the Ethereum US dollar chart. We're on the two hour chart. And if I just draw out this line of previous resistance, as you can see here, just back here towards the end of February, we saw some massive resistance at this level. And as you can see, ever since we broke above this line of
of resistance, we actually came back down to retest the resistance and confirmed it as support and continued to head back to the upside. So this bounce that we got just here is extremely bullish for Ethereum. Ethereum just in the immediate short term over the past day to two days is obviously in an uptrend. And so the trend is your friend. Obviously, we keep going until we meet resistance. And the next level of resistance that I have in mind for Ethereum is coming in at this price level just here. And that's the 1,700 US dollar level for Ethereum. Just drawing out the Fibonacci retracement tool on the chart, as you can see here, Ethereum actually came up exactly to the 38.2% Fibonacci level, the exact same as what Bitcoin did. And on the Ethereum chart, the 38.2% Fibonacci level is coming in at 1,610 US dollars, as you can see just here. So actually in the immediate short term, that is going to be a bit of resistance for Ethereum to get above at around 1,600 US dollars. But yeah, once Ethereum gets above that Fibonacci level, the next big Fibonacci level, which is the 50% Fibonacci level for Ethereum. And once again, that's coming in at 1,700 US dollars per Ethereum. We also saw some massive resistance at this exact level just here about a week ago. And zooming further out on the chart, we saw some massive support coming in at this exact level, as you can see. Now, as always, you have to be paying attention to the volume and for the retest of support to confirm that the breakout is real. All right, now zooming right out to the four hour chart, as you can see here, Ethereum has obviously already had this massive bullish divergence on the bigger timeframes. I've already mentioned this in my last few videos, but I thought I'll just quickly go over the fact that this has now played out to the upside. As you can see here, I was making videos right down here as Ethereum was bottoming out. And I said that it's extremely likely that Ethereum will stop heading to the downside and that we're going to get a bounce to the upside after we confirmed that bullish divergence. And yeah, once again, that's exactly what's happened. We've come up to this exact resistance level. And so obviously, if you want to stay updated in exactly what's going on in these markets, make sure you're obviously subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on down below. It's free to do that. All right, now just quickly switching over to the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart on the daily chart, as you can see here. And if you're new to crypto and you don't really know what this Ethereum to Bitcoin chart is, it's basically just Ethereum valued against Bitcoin rather than Ethereum valued against the US dollar. So essentially, this is just good at showing us Ethereum's performance against Bitcoin's performance to see which one's performing better. And obviously, since about the beginning of February, Ethereum has been in a downtrend against Bitcoin because Bitcoin's technically been performing better than Ethereum. But as of right now, as in over the past just couple days, once again, this is on the daily time frame. So each of these candles is one day. Ethereum is potentially starting to bottom out on this downtrend and potentially looking to begin its next uptrend against Bitcoin, which will mean Ethereum will soon start outperforming Bitcoin. Ethereum is obviously coming to contact with this massive line of support, as you can see just here. We saw some huge supports coming in at this exact level just here. And when you draw that out on the chart, as you can see here, we've got another massive bounce just over the past few days. And honestly, I've been accumulating a lot of Ethereum at these lower prices, especially because Ethereum has seen a sharper correction to the downside than what Bitcoin has seen. So that makes for a much bigger opportunity in Ethereum because Ethereum's at much cheaper prices than it should be at. Right now, Ethereum's incredibly undervalued in my opinion. And yeah, this uptrend for Ethereum versus Bitcoin can take, yeah, once again, a few weeks to get going because zooming way out on the chart, as you can see here, Ethereum's still in a massive uptrend long-term against Bitcoin. So this correction over the past few weeks in Ethereum versus Bitcoin has simply just made for a good buying opportunity to hold for the long term. And that's exactly what I've been doing. I'm just letting you know exactly what I'm doing. I'm just being fully transparent and letting you know my exact strategy in Ethereum and Bitcoin, obviously, because so far that's been working out incredibly well for me. So obviously, why not share it with all of you? All right, now just quickly switching over to the Chainlink US dollar chart. We're on the two hour chart for Chainlink. And as you can see here, Chainlink has followed a lot of the other top cryptos along with this bullish divergence. As you can see, we're actually right now coming in contact with some massive resistance levels for Chainlink right now. Just pulling out the Fibonacci retracement tool on the chart, the 50% Fibonacci level right now is coming in at pretty much exactly 30 US dollars. So the 30 US dollar level is going to be some massive resistance for Chainlink in the immediate short term. And that's not just because of that Fibonacci level. It's also because we saw a big resistance at this level just here. And right now we are struggling to get above that level in the immediate short term. Once we get above 30 
US dollars, I would be immediately targeting towards 32 US dollars because that's the 61.8% Fibonacci level, which once again is pretty much the most important Fibonacci level on the Fibonacci retracement tool. And Chainlink is pretty correlated with the other top cryptos like Bitcoin and Ethereum. So I'm pretty much just going to repeat myself here in saying that I would expect Chainlink to make its way up towards its all time high before the end of March. In my opinion, it's extremely likely that Chainlink makes its way up towards that 36 to 37 dollar level within the next four weeks because once again we're still in a bull market and yes yeah, so far obviously Chainlink has been making a great recovery over the past couple days all right now just quickly heading over to the Cardano US dollar chart we're on the two hour charts for Cardano and by the way the reason why I'm actually adding in a couple of these altcoins towards the end of this video is because a few of you guys actually suggested them in the comments down below so seriously I read all of your comments down below so if you have any suggestions or if you just want to let me know your favorite altcoin just comment it down below and I'll be sure to check it out but yeah anyway getting back into Cardano as you can see here what's interesting is Cardano was actually kind of the first crypto to actually pump out of this correction so this was kind of the correction here that basically all of the other cryptos had but as you can see here unlike a lot of the other top cryptos like Bitcoin Ethereum Chainlink when they kind of just stayed down here as you can see Cardano began to immediately recover and actually reach all-time highs before all of the other cryptos did which honestly is really bullish like that's a powerful thing to do for Cardano but unfortunately that might have run out just in the short term as you can see here Cardano is potentially forming a descending triangle once again this is just on the two hour chart so I'm not expecting like a massive crash in Cardano or anything but descending triangles are obviously famous for being bearish patterns they can technically break to the upside sometimes but they're much more likely to break to the downside the current supports for this descending triangle is coming in at around one dollar and 17 cents and the current resistance for this triangle is coming in at around one dollar 30 so yeah those are the two price levels for cardano that i'm going to be keeping an eye on in the immediate short term the technical price target to the downside is coming in at around 88 cents and as for the upside if we were to break above this resistance level with big volume once again make sure you're paying attention for the volume if we are to break above the resistance level i would simply be targeting at the all-time high which is currently coming in at pretty much exactly a dollar fifty but yeah this is about all i have to say for this video i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did then please make sure to just leave a like on the video down below and also if you're new to the channel obviously make sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of my future videos i put a lot of time and effort into these videos every single day just to try and help you make money in crypto so if you could just spend a couple seconds to scroll down and click like and subscribe it seriously means a lot to me and it helps out the channel so much and yeah once again if you have any questions feedback or suggestions for me let me know in a comment down below i try and read and reply to every single one of my comments on these videos so yeah if you have anything to say whatsoever just let me know in a comment down below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible just be careful because in the comment section there can be some scammers down there so if you find any comment or reply down there with like a phone number an email telegram anything like that please do not contact anyone from the comment section whatsoever and especially do not send anyone crypto that you do not know exactly who they are so yeah please just stay away from those sort of comments i try and delete them when i can but they're always coming in and i'm not always online so i just thought i'll throw that warning in there for you guys but yeah that's just about all i have to say for this video once again i really hope you all enjoyed and i'll see you all in the next video